What's up for today guys, this is Cinemagic and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to use the Logitech gaming software. But first, we're going to be doing a, an introduction on this keyboard. So I'm using the G Pro mechanical keyboard. Let's talk about first the LED. The LED is very nice. The, all of the colors here produce a very nice color. For example, the blue, you know, the, you know, the blue that it's like, um, I don't know what cobalt blue something like that the red is like a crimson red it's very nice it's very good to your eyes it produces a very nice colors but the thing is uh, uh, the white you know the color white is not color white at all you know it's kind of color blue light light blue because I think it's because of the transparent um, transparent uh, plastic that uh, lets the light pass through you know the transparent light is actually kind of you know um, translucent gray you know which makes the color actually you know um, change a bit when the LED is lit it changes the color because of something like uh, you know when it's in a cold temperature you know in your phone you change the color or the scenery to a cool temperature um, what's going to happen is that the white color is going to be kind of color blue right so if you try to in if, if you try to put it on a warm temperature it's going to be like a, you know dirty white or orange white something like that so in this case it's like a cool temperature so the next thing is going to be the Logitech G Pro itself I don't know if it's implemented in all the keyboards that uh, has 16.8 uh, million backlit uh, capabilities uh, it doesn't function it doesn't function the you know it doesn't cycle through different profiles just press just by pressing function one function two function three you know the function plus a number function plus another number it's not like the black widow when you press function plus number one it will change for a wavy type then function plus number two it will change to a static color it's not like that it's not like that um, in the logic gaming software it's kind of complicated it only it is only present when an application is opened for example here uh, this is the logitech this is the logitech gaming software and apparently i'm at the i'm at the default profile right here so what you're gonna see here in the screen the led that's lighting up is actually the ones on my keyboard lighting up too so it's going to mirror it uh, since I don't have a camera to show you just base it here in the screen that uh, when it's a sine wave it's actually the sine wave that uh, with the right red uh, sign and blue you know sine wave yeah whatever um, so here in this case let's go to the profiles as you can see we have a default profile we have Dora 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 as you can see there are three Dota 2 logos um, in this case, these are the three profiles that I use on um, on my Dota 2. Okay, so you can only cycle when an op just like what I said, you can only cycle when an application is open, right? So let's go to step number one on how you know how to change it, how to make a cycling colors profiles yeah something like that so step number one step number one is create a profile okay create a profile so you can you're only limited to I think six I think I guess so let's go and type Dota 1 or just Dota or whatever so you cannot create just like just like what I said um, it is only available for games and applications uh, which is which are open so if I, if, I, if I press OK, this it does not work. So you have to provide an application or a game for it to be OK. So let's go and find the application of Dota. So um, let's go to the Steam apps. In my case, it's in Data D. Go to Steam. Uh, go to Steam apps. Steam. Steam apps. Common folder. Dota 2 beta. This is not the XA, XA file, this is the XA file of the previous, the, the beta version of Dota, which has its valve, you know, the valve uh, um, loading screen, 
So it's not this one. Go to after the common Dota Tubera, go to game, go to bin, go to Windows 64, and this is where you're gonna be seeing the executable file of Dota 2. So press enter. So that will be the profile of the Dota. So press OK. So that will be the uh, the default profile for the Dota. Um, let's go next to the settings. So let's go to the here. Step number two: lighting settings. Go to lighting settings and enable per profile backlighting. Yeah. That is step number two. Step number three. Step number three is um, put your profile. Click. Yeah. You have to put it as a. You know. You, you need to highlight it just like that. So and um, exit it. Then it's up for you to change on the design of the lights. Okay. So in this case, lighting mode. You have a freestyle. You can change it can change it to yellow um, you can change it to yellow you can change it to J as you can see it's already uh, lighting up different colors so you know the QWER row is actually color yellow right now so something like that the next one is going to be zone so it has a uh, you know pre-installed zone whatever bonifiers so you can change it also in my case, we have WASD. You can also make it like uh, QWERASD. You can highlight it. Just uh, just uh, click the WASD. You, you will be seeing the highlight um, bar right there. You can uh, add more letters on that, uh, and you can also put QWERASD something like that. So in my case, I'll just. Um, WASD, I'll just revert it back to the original. So you can do it like that. You can change it. Um, you can also uh, use the, you know, the default effect selection. The default effects, something like a fixed color or breathing. We have star effect. You know, you know, twinkle, twinkle, little star, something like that. Color cycle changes to colors. You also have color wave. You can change it in different directions, something like that. Uh, and also, creep presses. I try to press. Once I will press letters, it will light up just like that. As you can see, I'll be pressing my name, Marco Miguel C. Salvador, something like that. As you can see, it's lighting up. So you can also do that. You can also go to the your effects. So this your effects actually um, were made by different people. So Logitech. Is actually sometimes downloads the screen this um, effects from their site I don't know where Logitech gets it but uh, these are made by different people scanners red white and blue this is my favorite the where you call this where is it the sign this is my favorite this is actually what I used in my uh, default profile you can also edit it by double clicking it as you can see uh, you will see how the changes is going to happen. You can uh, experiment this, so it's up to you for it's up to you guys uh, to understand how this how the effects would be and show show you guys uh, how art your artist your creative uh, um, inner creativeness is going to happen. So in my case, let's just uh, click a random thing. Let's just put this save to device you know I just put this uh, as in the Dota 1 you can click it click click the save to device and this will be on the Dota section so these are all in the Dota section so that's the step 3 you have to just uh, you know customize your lighting then save it to your device so last part is going to be open your software wait 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 Step number three, let's go to step number four. Step number four is going to be cycling through profile. So first we go to the default profile. So the default profile is when you close all, you know, close all your applications. Uh, President profile is like, uh, always, I don't really get this. 
regardless of applications does does that mean that if you try to close the application it will just still be the same i don't know so here it is the profile cycling this is where you can change the the on how to change the profiles so it really depends so function keys doesn't work you can only use control shift and alt so in my case i use control you don't need for let's just clear it again you don't need to press it the same time you just you can just press control as you can see i just press control then press anything for example equal sign then press ok and that's it you can now use it but in this case uh i still can't use it because because the dota is not yet open so let's now go to the dota file in my case i put a uh what do you call this a shortcut in the desktop so that I can access it directly and press enter okay once I have opened the Dota file I can show it to you but uh, it will change your colors or the pro it will change the profile to um, it will change the profile into uh, you know the ones that you have uh, installed right so let's go to the exclusive borderless window I guess okay here so the borderless window I don't think it's the borderless window um, once you have clicked the borderless window okay um, wait I'll just try to connect the com the what do you call this the the camera here so that uh, I'll just uh, do it very fast you know I'll just show it to you on how it's going to be happen okay so be right back so this is the G Pro mechanical keyboard um, this is in default profile just like what I said earlier uh, so once I have opened the Dota profile as you can see here I will open it once I have opened the Dota profile uh, it will Will actually change so if I alt tab it will go back to the default and then if I go back to the Dota um, it will go and change it so I won't be focusing it on the keyboard itself so that you can uh, have a better lighting or a better understanding of the lights itself so I will try to blur it out as you can see you will see the difference it will, you will see the difference right so I will blur it out so in my case I have four pro profiles opened in the Dota so in my case this is the first one that I have placed so my profile hotkey to change it is actually control and equals so this is the control and this is the equal sign and it should work but it doesn't it should work okay so it was a bug so when I try to press control plus equals it changes its profile so I'll press it again this is the uh, so I have changed it again and my third profile was uh, you know key press so if I try to press it I try to press different keys it will just um, it will light for every key press I press yeah so the next one or the last one that I was actually doing was the you know the you know the WASD you know different region for gaming and that's it I will focus it again for you to understand as you can see the WASD the number one two three four five the function keys were all lit up you know some uh, gaming you know this is like a CSGO you know CSGO CSGO uh, what do you call this? CSGO something? Um, CSGO profile, something like that. Uh, they made it for it to be very noticeable. But still, yeah. So I think that's all for today. I have, uh, you know, I have teach you. This was the step number five, which uh, will be to control your profiles through different, uh, to drift to different uh, applications. So once you have alt tab and go to your uh, specific game or i mean to the, to the desktop it will go back to your default settings
yeah so I hope you guys understand what I um, told you I hope it's very easy to understand well actually, well actually it's very hard to understand and it really took me time to understand on how to uh, uh, change the profiles so I think that's all for today guys please like and subscribe with my youtube channel this is Serial Magic. thanks for watching